So I wanted to show everybody the basics of mounting metals. Uh, some of the necessities that you're going to need to do this uh, is a shirt, an iron, some strapping tape, some quarter inch double sided tape, scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and your metals. Okay, so when you go and buy your metals, uh, it's best that when you pull it out, you keep your cardboard boxes that it, that it comes with. Um, today, right now, what I have is uh, a Marine set of metals that is getting ready to go to the ball in my unit, and he needed a little bit of help in mounting them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, first things first, you're gonna go, obviously go ahead and turn on your iron. Uh, I highly, highly recommend that you do not have your steam on uh, when you iron your metals, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, reason being is if you do that, uh, you can mess up your cardboard box underneath and it won't be flat, and you can possibly mess up the ribbon part of, uh, of your metal. Okay, so when you pull your metals out of the box, first things first is you're gonna go ahead and stick your fingers in your ribbon part just like this, and you're gonna pull it apart until your metal pieces fall out. Those are trash, you don't need, you don't need those at all. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron out my ribbon, get it nice and flat. So how I do that is I take the corner edge of my cardboard box that these metals came with and I put it inside my ribbon, the front part of my ribbon, just like this. Now when I put my cardboard box in there, I wanna make sure that my edges match up to the ribbon. I don't wanna have it off, uh, off centered or anything like that. I wanna make sure that my cardboard box is in there uh, nice and even to where when I iron it, both of my edges down here on the ribbon are basically perpendicular. And this is where I take my cloth, or in this case, a piece of shirt, or a shirt. I put it over the ribbon, and I take my iron with the steam off, and I go ahead and iron it out for about five to 10 seconds. Doesn't take long. Now my ribbon is nice and flat. At this point, this is where the pencil comes in. The uh, reason why I use a pencil is because I've noticed in the past when I use a pen, um, sometimes it'll show up on the edges of your ribbon, pencil doesn't. So I'll take my pencil, and I'll mark the edge of my ribbon on that cardboard box. or my lines right there. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut on those lines. Now what I do is I take that cut, I put it back inside my ribbon and I check to see that my lines on the left and the right match up um, with my ribbon part. So in this case, it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shave that excess part of the cardboard box um, off so it does line up. I'm gonna check it again. and it lines up. Now, once everything lines up, I'm gonna take that quarter inch double-sided tape. I'm gonna take small little strips, maybe about an inch or two long, and I'm gonna start putting them on my, cord my cardboard box. Now, when you put your double-sided tape on here, make sure that the edge of your tape does not go over the edge of your cardboard box. Normally takes about 
three strips of quarter inch double sided tape. And it's gonna be kind of hard to see in the video. Um, but it doesn't need to cover the whole cardboard. Now when you do it, like I said, make sure that it does not go over the edges of your cardboard. If it does, cut the excess off. Um, and don't worry about your double-sided tape overlapping on your cardboard box. You will not be able to see that uh, when you actually put your, your ribbon on there. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now is taking that cardboard piece and I am putting it inside the ribbon once again. And I'm laying my ribbon on top, sticking the ribbon to the double-sided tape. Now obviously when you do this, you wanna pay close attention to detail and ensure that your lines are nice and straight. If they're not straight, fix it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move to the back side and do the same exact thing for the back side. Once again, it takes about three pieces of double-sided tape. Make sure it does not go over the edge of your cardboard box. Now, what I like to do is, in this case, this Marine has two medals. I know that the National Defense is the more senior medal, so I know that it's gonna be on the left, um, it's gonna be on the left side of the bar as I'm looking at this Marine. So, I need to ensure that the back side of this ribbon does not go over the front side of this ribbon because if it does you're obviously going to be able to see it when it's mounted so the best you can try to try to put the back on there without the back side overlapping um, the front side it's gonna look like that to where you cannot see the back side of that ribbon and you go ahead and try to do the same exact side or the same exact thing to the other side it doesn't need to look pretty on the back as we all know it's going to be hidden um, but once again try the best you can to make sure that it does not overlap so that metal is done okay and I'm just going to show you guys how to mount this metal on the bar I'm not going to show you um, mounting I'm not going to mount both metals because it's, it's essentially the same especially when you only have two metals all right, so now that we have this uh, th this ribbon taped and everything's nice and straight, it looks good, it's nice and flat. What I do is I peel about half an inch to an inch of the front ribbon off of that cardboard. Reason being is because I need to cut this cardboard. Now, when you cut this cardboard, do not cut the front part of your ribbon. If you cut that front part of your ribbon, chances are is that you're not gonna be able to mount this metal, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a little bit. If you cut the back side of the ribbon while you are cutting this cardboard, that's perfectly fine. Once again, it's, it's gonna be hidden, and it doesn't really matter. Do not cut the front part of this ribbon, okay? Now, what I do is I take a ruler. Yes, it is better to have a see-through ruler, uh, but in this case today, I don't. So what you wanna do is, from the bottom of your metal, the way it naturally hangs to the top of the cardboard needs to be three and a quarter inch. Three and a quarter inch from the bottom of the metal to the top of your cardboard, according to the Marine Corps order. So what I do is I take a pencil and I mark three and a quarter inch. Now once that's done, I'll take my scissors, ensuring that I do not cut the front part of my ribbon, and I'll cut on that line. Now, in most cases, if you're starting off, you're a beginner in mounting metals, um, you can cut a little higher than that line and keep measuring it out, keep measuring it out until you get your three and a quarter inch. Because uh, if you cut lower than that line and you try to mount it, it looks like garbage. 
So you're going to want to, at that point, you're going to want to get another piece of cardboard and restart the whole process all over again. So beginners, you can cut a little bit above and work your way down. Okay, in this case, let's see where I'm at. All right, I need to shave it probably about a sixteenth of an inch down. Try to get your line as straight as you can when you make that cut because when you roll it over that bar, it'll look nice instead of all wavy. Okay, I'm going to measure it out one more time. That's perfect. Okay, so preparing your bar to mount your metal. What I do, and yes, there are many ways to skin a cat. This is the way I was taught, and this is the way I'd like to, to teach everybody else, is to take my double-sided tape, put double-sided tape on the front, <clears throat> make sure the top of your double-sided tape does not go past the top of your, your mounting bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of double-sided tape on the back, once again, ensuring that the top of my double-sided tape does not go over the top of my mounting bar. Now, if you have excess on the end there, that's fine, go ahead and cut it off. I like to leave a little bit because when you're mounting your metals, it helps your metal stick on the very end there. Okay, so the front and the back of your mounting bar is prepped for mounting. So what I'll do is I will take the back side of my, my ribbon, and since I've already measured it out, I know that if I take the top of my cardboard box here in the back and I put it flush with the top of my ribbon bar right here, I know that when I fold it over, it'll be three and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now there's a couple different ways when you when you fold your ribbon over to do this because sometimes you're gonna find yourself running into uh, the spike on the back of your mounting bar. Um, some people like to cut it, some people like to make a hole in the back of your ribbon and just slide it down. I've honestly found that if I just make a little slit, a little cut in the back and I wrap it around the spike, it works just fine. If you make a hole, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of time in, in playing with it and making sure that you get that that ribbon mounted properly. Uh, if you try it out, I mean, if you can get it down, go ahead. Uh, you're going to find out that it's pretty difficult to do. So what I like to do is just to make a little slit, not too big, because if you make a too big of a, a cut back there, um, it could possibly possibly fray at the top where you fold your